Hello everyone, it's Joe here and it's the last day of the year. Uh, so I wanted to share with you some thoughts on what I learned about myself, about life, about what I need around me, what I don't. This year was very strange for, for everyone, obviously, at a global scale, which is so unlikely to say that one phenomenon affects everyone globally is is completely unthinkable until 2020. Um, wars affect a lot of people, but locally. Famines, even viruses, they affect specific areas of the globe and then other areas of the planet can afford to kind of ignore it if they wish. This year puts everyone on the same level. Then the difference was individually how each person dealt with it. And me personally, surprisingly or maybe not, kind of enjoyed the challenges that I had to face. I had my health, my child was healthy the whole time. I feel for those who are not and who have lost people. But the reality is that myself personally found that this year was very um, beneficial to my ability to endure but also be resourceful because we had to adapt very quickly to be creative again in business and in life to be appreciative of small things that we use, used to take for granted such as even being able to run my business. This year has made me much hungrier when it comes to business because I now realize that stuff happens and I, I have to be able to, to solve problems on the fly on, on a very short notice. Um, so I'm very excited about 2021 and obviously the, the virus situation will not end tomorrow. Um, but we have an opportunity here because we are, we, we are much more knowledgeable and we now realized that there's many more avenues ac accessible to us in terms of self-development, business growth, um, education, the way we, we relate to other people, you know, with the explosion of Zooms and Skypes and all that stuff. I'm very excited about next year. I'm very excited because it made me so much more ambitious but also much more focused. This year took away from me an, an element that I used to have, which was a certain naivete in terms of what it takes to succeed, um, a certain laziness, uh, overconfidence that I used to have maybe in myself. And the reality is that all that confidence is great, but eventually you got to put in the work and be strategic and be methodical and follow uh, the clues that other people's successes have left behind. I learned a lot about myself. I spent a lot of time with my child, uh, which was great, but obviously whilst trying to run a business, it taught me how to balance things and how to balance my own energy. I'm much calmer um, this year than I was the year before with no global pandemic. I mentioned to uh, many of my friends and colleagues that it's the first time in my life this year, twice this happened, that before a holiday break, I wasn't actually tired, which tells me that my energy management improved a lot. Because I understood, look, you got to pick your battles. You can't go crazy this year. You have to be very strategic, very smart about the next steps, but you must take them because it's adapt or die in 2020. So it was a very interesting game there that I had to play internally between adaptation, creativity, but energy management. Don't engage with stressful and anxiety-inducing situations. That was one of my rules. If uh, conflict starts to arise, I solve it, step out, walk away. That's a skill that I wish to carry forward and, and take this with me as we solve this global pandemic nightmare and regardless of where you position yourself in terms of 
the severity of the pandemic. There's one thing that is undeniable. It happened. And there will be consequences. Financial consequences are the ones that we now need to, to be uh, conscious of. So I'm being once again creative when it comes to my life. Understanding that those things will happen and position yourself in front of the problem, not behind it. Don't chase the problem. Anticipate the problem. Provide a solution even before people know there's a problem. That's what I've learned this year. So I hope that 2020 for you was also a, a year of learning, growth, courage, resilience, passion, love, kindness, and all those skills that you've learned this year. Make sure that that's the one New Year's resolution, is that you carry those forward. Don't leave them with a crisis. Take those skills with you as life gets easier, different, however you want to see it. But take those skills with you. That's my single and only New Year's resolution. Happy New Year. Take care.